I'm just going to ask questions. Yes. So hello FK Twigs, <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks for coming here right after the performance. How did you feel to perform in like such a historical place? Did it feel inspiring? Yeah, it was really inspiring, especially because this is a place of learning mm -hmm. and a place of practice. And I guess that's what I am as well. And to be able to present work while I'm in a very undone stage of learning and practice, it just felt like a perfect synergy. Um, so, of course, we are here right after the performance for the Valentino L'Ecole uh, show. You have a, an incredibly eclectic um, background. You're a singer, a dancer, producer. How would you say fashion fits into your creative self? Like, how do you use fashion to express yourself creatively? I, I feel like I'm really into the art of fashion in the sense that a way an outfit can transform you to be a different person or to or, to, or transform you to a different time. But I'm actually like a very big archivist and fashion collector, so really iconic collections. Um, I love to find and source and find full outfits, but I love a story behind those things. And Pia Paolo and I were talking about the sentiment behind this collection. It really touched me because it comes with a deeper meaning. It's about this raw woman who is finding herself and and who is confident and in the world and barefaced and hair down and as she is and and I guess growing and in that is perfect in her own way. Is there a specific piece in the collection that really touched you? Like if you had to pick one that you were like, that one I will remember forever. Is there one? I don't have a specific one but I'm really into the use of some of the fabrics in this collection so the silks and the linens and these kind of natural raw fibers these like energizing fibers the way that i'm dressing i'm i'm searching for materials that are of the earth you know and i feel like it's really incredible that pia paolo was able to embrace those things in such like a beautiful and elevated way you know i think that between Pia Paolo and I, there's a great trust in, like, I love what he does and, and he loves what I do, so we're able to exist together and not stand on each other's toes, but more have beautiful conversations about art and about the world, and from that manages to come these beautiful performances. Yeah, so the performance, as we saw, kind of implicated many parts of your talent. So we had, of course, dancing and singing. If you can, with your own words, talk us through the performance. How, how was it for you? It was vulnerable. I'm, th I'm presenting work that's very much unfinished. I'm releasing an album next year, but I'm still very much in the mud and the grit and the earth of it. So that's where these raw materials came from. Um, the piece I made is called Unearth Her because I'm literally unearthing her right now and I, and I don't know who she is and and um, so I guess to present work that's unfinished, songs I've not sung before, ways of moving I've not explored publicly before, it was, it, it felt vulnerable but then now I, f I feel like brave and I feel proud of myself for doing that. You know even seeing like a couple of clips from the performance as I came off stage it's like what has been in my head now it's coming out and, and I know that like I'm not crazy like I know it works um, so that's really nice because now I can just go in the studio and finish it <laughs> and, and I guess like get out my head because I've had a taster of whatever it is next. So talking about kind of the preparation how did you and Pierre Paolo's vision come together to create like, how did that happen to create that moment? I've got a couple of films coming out next year, so I was starting to think about what, how I wanted to present myself to the world. So I'm going to message Pia Paolo and just say, like, hey, I've got an album coming out next year, I've got some projects, like, I'd love to talk to you and see if we can create some incredible custom looks. I want to feel inspired, like, I want us to really work together. And we just started to enter into this incredible conversation about art and about our lust for more in culture, like always more, always growing, always pushing. He was talking about his collection and he was saying about this feminist, strong woman who who has got flat shoes on and a 
short skirt and like I said, no makeup and raw and she's herself and that's so beautiful. And, and, I, and I was like, yeah, I understand. And he, and he said, yeah, that's you. He was like, you know, that's how I see you and you're the only person that I can imagine like doing music for, for our show. So Pia Paolo was like, amazing, let's do that. He was just like, let's do that. So I was like, really? And then he was like, yeah, let's go. So I was like, okay. And seeing these flashes of these raw materials and the sounds and and foley and um, and the idea that for me as a woman like I'm so, I'm so in touch with the earth and the dancers and I like even when we were rehearsing we were feeling tired and we were going and like sitting on the gravel and sitting on the sand and we were like oh we feel so energized by it it really felt like there was a, a perfect fit between the pieces that were presented that were really structured. It almost looked like stone, almost, or marble on these models. And then the performance that was so striking with movements that were so energized and so raw. It was like statues coming to life, which I felt was incredible. Well, exactly, because when I went to look around the incredible location, it was all these beautiful statues, and it was so still, and I felt this real reverence but also when we looked around there were loads of students that were presenting their work and and there was this real feeling of um everything just keeps moving there's like this beautiful building and so many people have been in here and so many things have happened and now all these students are training here for like a year or two and then and then going on and I thought wow how like amazing like it, this is here and it's in stone but everything within it is so transient, you know, like just how this, we created this incredible moment with Valentino and then tomorrow it will, it will be something else. Like, I know there was something really moving about that. So I was wondering, how is performing in a place like this different from performing in your music venue, in a place that's, you know what I mean? Like it's a, such a different experience to have a show that's also a runway, in a, in a way, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think that, uh, Benoit and, and Ballet Romber and I, we really um, were conscious of that actually. And we, we purposefully made a lot of the movements like very still. I had this idea that um, we did this like adage in like the first thing where we're like moving our arms and it's like so slow. And I had this idea that you could almost look at us, think, oh wow, like I like looking at that and then look at clothes and then see that go by and then you could like look back at us and almost nothing has happened and there's like the comfort that you can see this and that's going to stay the same for the next 30 seconds so I can look here and then I can go back like we purposefully really thought about the way that the, the piece could be made um, so we could all breathe together People always told me that I take my love too far then refuse to help I was on the edge of something greater than before, but nobody taught me. Of course, it's not the first time you're doing something like this, but is there anything that you've learned about fashion shows? Something maybe you didn't expect? I guess the thing that I've taken away from it is that and this is just my personal opinion, like culture sometimes deserves more than what we're giving them. And, and I think what I've taken away from this is that it is possible. Like it is possible for artists and creatives to push and push and push. And, and I feel that my team did that and I did that with Valentino. We were all just pushing, pushing, pushing for the past three weeks. We've been like, how can we make this better? How can we make this deeper? How can we make this, you know, like really mean something. And I think I've, learnt that you know with good kind hard-working people like we can do it like not not everything has to be like cookie cutter you know like the things that we're just used to seeing used to seeing you know like we we can when artists and 
and fashion and, and music and when all of the arts come together, like we can elevate each other and, and that's really incredible when it happens in an authentic way. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for these last words, FK Twigs. It was such a pleasure to have you here to talk about your collaboration with Pierpaolo. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs>